my channel. My name is Maddie and today I could not be bothered to get ready. This is my skin. It's literally doing horrible. So I had already filmed this video kind of where I talked about my six week update and my two week wait and all that stuff. So I figured I should go through the six weeks and then kind of talk back on what happened in the sixth week and the weeks leading up to it um, and then I'll do an eight week one but I would have gone through the eighth week and then talk about it because new symptoms will pop up in that week if that makes sense if you enjoy this video or videos like this please stick around and click the subscribe button and you can also find me on Instagram at Maddie McKenna YT and yeah so let's just get started so two week wait um, was interesting because I wasn't really waiting for anything because my doctor said I didn't ovulate. So basically, it was a really big surprise that I fell pregnant this time because I got a progesterone test. It was low and they didn't want to put me on progesterone for some reason. So they just said it was low. I didn't ovulate and I was really annoyed that they didn't want to do anything about it, but it turned out fine because I actually did become pregnant. So I wasn't waiting for anything, therefore I wasn't really looking for any symptoms, but the first one, which I just thought my period was coming, um, I was like very hungry, um, but usually I'll be like really, really hungry and I'll just eat like a little portion. This time I was eating like huge, huge, huge portions, but that's easily could be my period coming so I really did not think anything of it like we went to this ramen place I absolutely love ramen so I was getting like all these kinds of appetizers then we ate ramen and then I was like needing extra noodles because you can like order extra noodles so I did that oh but it's fine it was delicious and it's my favorite food so I wasn't like embarrassed but I just felt the need to say something because I, I knew it was out of the norm for me the next one that I noticed was vivid dreams, um, but you can have dreams whenever. I just remember like mentioning that my dreams have been very vivid lately. I did not even think about pregnancy though because, um, like I said, I my doctor told me I didn't ovulate. So, um, so that's my two-week wait pretty much. There's really nothing to it. I wasn't really nauseous, fatigued, anything like that. With my son. Um, this is my second baby, by the way, but with my son, um, I was very fatigued, not super nauseous. Um, I just remember like I was a server at the time and I was so tired and my boobs were killing me. Um, but yeah, that, that didn't happen this time. I was, it was not hitting me in the face. Then comes, so I found out about, I was already close to like five weeks. So we'll just kind of talk about the five week stage four to five weeks um i was not very nauseous i thought i had skipped over that um i was not very fatigued which i already talked about <laughs> um i had a weird body pain that i talked about on my instagram but like i was like really tender from like the waist up like my whole arms are just like really really tender but it wasn't like back aches or body aches or anything like that just like for two or three days i was just really tender to the touch like my seat belt bothered me i just kind of felt maybe like swollen i'm not even sure if that's like a symptom or not i i i've never heard of it um, but yeah, that happened. Vivid dreams continued and then my nipples were really, really tender. Like, like even like the blanket when I was sleeping, it would kind of like wake me up if I was like turning to my back and then and my blanket kind of like brushed against them wrong. Like they're really, really tender. Um, but they weren't ache like my actual like breasts, like they weren't achy, uh, like they were with my son. They were. It was like more of a nipple area. Okay, so that brings us to week six. Um, week six, I spent in bed, super, super, super nauseous, like not fun whatsoever. Um, yeah, I wrote like bedridden. I was just, I, I don't, I don't even remember the last time I washed my face. 
Um, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't touching laundry. I was so unmotivated. And I was like, maybe I should like take a bath. And then I would like walk to the bathtub. And then I was like, do I even feel like taking a bath? Like when you're nauseous, you just don't feel like doing anything. So I was still eating a ton. Um, and I would have cravings, but, um, I was just really nauseous, which the nausea led to food aversions or just like aversions, um, which I don't remember having with Presley. I mean, nothing sounded good when I was pregnant with my son. Um, yeah, I was hungry, but nothing sounded good. So this pregnancy, it's a little bit more convenient that's things do sound good but the next day it's not it's gonna sound like horrible like one day I really wanted meatballs and then I had meatballs and the next day and even now that sounds disgusting aversions also like before I was pregnant I would eat like a few Oreos with milk every night that sounds that sounds disgusting now just any dessert sounds horrible Anything sugary sounds nasty, which is so weird because, um, yeah, that's what I used to love was desserts and brownies and cookies and a ton of milk. I drank a ton of milk in my coffee. Oh my God. Oh, just thinking about milk. I had cereal and I would make my lattes at home, which are mostly milk and like an espresso shot. Ugh. And then milk at night with my Oreos. So gross. So I have like, we used to go through so much milk. We were having to buy milk all the time and now it just kind of sits in the fridge. Like I have had cravings. It's just like the next day that it's going to sound horrible. Like Panda Express. I was dying for Panda Express. Got Panda Express. I can't even look at Panda Express anymore. So... Um, I really haven't had too much, um, what's it called? Insomnia. What is it? Just like when you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't sleep. <laughs> I haven't had too much of that, but I have been waking up at like 2 a.m. or something. Like, it's always 2 a.m. for some reason. Um, I don't really know why, but like, it's, it's like... I can go back to sleep pretty quickly, but I have been waking up, which is not like me. My skin is breaking out. I have like literally a pimple on my lip right here. My whole face um, is not doing good, but also my hormones are, they're gonna do their thing anyways. The pregnancy brain has started because I was like talking to my client um, the other day and I was li literally saying this whole story. I had a whole point to it. And I stopped in the middle and was like, what was I just talking about? Like, I I knew I had a point. I had no idea what I was talking about. And it was like, I had, I was like talking. And then I just stopped. I was like, what was I saying? Um, and that's happened a lot. I can't think of a word or something like that more than usual. I remember this happening with Presley um, where I'll just forget what I'm saying or I just cannot think of a word or like, whatever I want to say um so yeah that has that's begun um and then also I think with the nausea I don't know if it comes with the nausea but I've been burping a ton which is so weird but um I've been burping a lot but it kind of like relieves some pressure in my belly so like it is what it is um and um, also TMI, but the constipation, which I did have with Presley as well, um, is back. Now I'm just going to talk about what I've stopped doing. Um, there's just a few things that since I've become pregnant, I have not done since finding out. Um, so one thing is I stopped drinking coffee daily. And that's not even because I don't like... It's not because I was like, oh, I'm pregnant, I'm going to stop drinking coffee. It was more like, it just didn't sound good, um, which is so weird. I'm a huge, huge, huge coffee drinker. I'll get Starbucks here and there, but 
I have like a whole thing of cold brew. Like I make my own cold brew at home and I've totally like made that mostly decaf with like a lip with like a scoop of regular coffee. So I'd be fine to drink it. I just haven't touched it. Um, and I'm not gonna be, I have some espresso that I could make. I just haven't wanted the milk. It just doesn't sound good in the morning. Um, I have a hard time keeping anything down in the morning, like even water. I just can't keep it down usually in the morning, so I just kind of skip my coffee. Another thing that I have stopped using is hyaluronic acid and retinol. Um, I can't remember why you can't use hyaluronic acid. I know that like when you're pregnant, your skin reacts to things differently. Like you don't really need like really harsh exfoliants or a lot of salicylic acid and stuff like that. So um, I have stopped the retinol for sure. I, can't, I just can't remember why I can't use hyaluronic acid. Um, I just know you're not supposed to. I don't know why. I can't remember. I miss my hyaluronic acid because it feels so good and hydrating. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up, but I just haven't used it because I heard you're not supposed to. So that is pretty much it for the six weeks. I am now seven weeks and a couple days. Yeah, my, my, um, what's it called? Oh my God. My doctor's appointment is, uh, on Monday. So that's exciting. Just hitting seven weeks has been really, really, really triggering. Um, seeing that the baby's the size of a raspberry and why am I about to cry? Um, this is when we lost the baby last time. I thought everything was fine, but thinking back to last time, I do remember like feeling really crampy before the bleeding started. So I have not felt crampy yet. And I felt cramps with Presley too. So if you're experiencing cramps, like it's, it's probably fine. I just remember feeling crampy before the bleeding started with the last one. Um, yeah, it's just been a little triggering this week, so I haven't really been posting much, I haven't really been, like, I don't know, I, I feel good about it, but today's Friday, it's on Monday, and I'm just, like, really hope I can make it through the weekend, um, which I'm sure I can, so, anyways, I will show my belly just for fun, there's really nothing there besides a lot of bloating, but I would love to like put it all together um, at the end of the pregnancy to see the updates and stuff. So I will show you that and that will be it for the video. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.